uh, and has been a Dayton area fixture since he. Right, I gotta zoom in. Ah, should I be losing my sight this early? Uh, I call this, pro this presentation a retro preview because it's sort of a preview of my retrospective coming up at UD starting January 29, 2013. This is going to go on into the first week or so of March. So uh, basically I'm going to show you some things related to my career. This is Turn, 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 filmed from 1966, which in involved the luministic and kinetic art of Nicholas Schaffer, Julio Lepard, the USCO group who I worked with for many years, and uh, the video artist Nan June Peck, who I worked with also for many years, both starting around 1965, until Peck died, uh, Oh, I think it was about 2008. Uh, I remember. This is a, a film, this is a video actually called, mm -hmm. called Light Display uh, uh, Color, but based on Mahole Nazi's uh, machine, which he, he built in 1930. He made a film called Light Display Black, White, Gray. And this is um, film strips from the film uh, Us Down by the Riverside, which was the Busco exhibition which did the Riverside Museum in 1966. This was premiered on public television in New York. And these film strips came from the book Psychedelic Art, published in 1970. And uh, show some of the Us Down machine. Uh, one of those uh, other things I do is collages. So I'm going to show a lot of collages in my show. This one is called uh, Delusions of Grandeur. <laughs> and uh, it was also published in the Vincent Brothers Review for the Cats and Dogs issue, which I had. Uh, I did illustrations and covers for a long time. This is another one from Vincent Brothers. This one's called The Shock of Recognition. Uh, most of these will be included in the exhibition in the, in the part of the show that will be at the Rush Library, which is going to have all collage work. Uh, there's going to be uh, also uh, video screenings. Uh, this is another one called um, Sanctuary. And uh, it's going to be a three-part show. And uh, there'll be video installations in the, two, in the 239 gallery and also my video data series of collages. And this, is, this piece right now you can see in actuality at the uh, DVAC show a memory show that's up right now for another week or so. This is called The Gallery of Errors. And actually, did, I did the original version of this several years ago and blew it up into a giant photo mural that was in the show in the University of Cincinnati called uh, Stupid Things. <laughs> and uh, this is from a series that I did. Uh, I do like these collage essays and novels uh, like Max Ernst did in The Serialist. This one's called uh, Struck by the Light of Night. And it's from what I, the series I call The Voyager's Dream Book. And you'll see that this is another one from The Voyager's Dream Book. This is called The Bombardment of Desire. Mm. You can see there, uh, surrealism plays a very important role in these collages. And my uh, video work tends to be more abstract. Uh, I'm looking, oh, this one is called The Unstruck Sound. It was a series also from the Voyages Green Book. There were several toward the end that get into very metaphysical, spiritual kinds of things. And uh, this is one of them. And uh, the next one is the uh, hums, uh, hums of the Universe. <laughs> and uh, again, you can see the, the surrealistic aspect, but also the spiritual uh, connotations in this thing. Uh, somehow the Great Wall of China worked into this one, and so there's many different cultural aspects they bring to my work. I bring them in. Uh, the idea is to join images so that they're, uh, this is the New Age rising, to join the images in such a way that they create a continuity. And this is all cut and paste stuff, you know. So it's, uh, it's very fun to work with. Uh, I also do watercolors for my own. Uh, uh, enjoyment, but the collages are a major work. This is a machine I made in 1976 when I was teaching at Wright State called a Praxiloscope, which is on a 78 turntable, and there's a mirror, and each one is facing an image which comes from a Lisa June pattern from uh, an oscilloscope. And as it turns around, it's a moving thing. I'll be showing this machine. Oh, this is a, a video hologram, uh, I mean, a, a multiplex hologram I did of that machine. 
1981, when we had a, a hologram program with the research uh, in, uh, program at UD, and we brought five artists in. And I'll be doing a, showing a bunch of video hologram, several video hologram works in movie machine. This is another one. We have a turntable. Yeah, the, actually, what, this is a 360 you know, multiplex hologram, and they move. This one rotates. The, uh, it's a video monitor, and what turns towards you, there's an actual video camera that seems to stick right out of the screen at you in three dimensions, and we've done it in two stages. And it's illuminated by white. This is a video installation, which I premiered in 2000 uh, at the Whitney Museum in my retrospective called uh, Dream Rails. And uh, this is an installation two years later at Miami uh, uh, University Art Museum with Tibetan iconography and uh, sentient life. There's flowers and corn fields and soybean fields and animals. And uh, there were actually three projectors at the Whitney and two in this installation at the Miami University Art Museum. And I'll be, I'll be doing a version of this. It's called Vision Cantos, which will be up in the art gallery at UD with Hugo Mantle. This one, which uh, this was up at University of Akron for a show of uh, uh, video and digital art. And I did actually a version of this uh, at DVAC. It's called uh, Sea Islands. And it's basically images from the low country and in South Carolina. This is another piece called Video uh, Phase Patterns, which is digitized video feedback. And, uh, and, and it's on a delay, so that there's like a six second delay between each of these two monitors. So as you watch it, it's like a whole time displacement, and you see what you saw before. And this is a piece with Nanjun Peck, which you can see any day if you go into the rotunda of the Dick Nott Institute. Uh, this piece, he, he did the sculpture in 1989, and uh, Carl Salway Gallery had it in the deal made with DAI, and there was no video for it, so they suggested that I should be the one to make the video for it, and it's called Four Decades, and it shows work that we did together, uh, as well as uh, other video that he did in video sculpted all around the world. So there's actually four decades of video work that's encompassed in this, and he did the paintings on the tubes. <laughs> 